or those issues to fall off, and then the Holy Spirit took over for me. However, I said I want to tell you how to recognize your body. Let me tell you seven things on how to recognize prayer for you when it comes, when the Holy Spirit brings the body upon you. Now, the points I'm giving you are not written in any scripture directly. I got them from my own personal experiences and experiences of others that I respect. Number one, when you become restless for no reason, it is a prayer, it will be a prayer body. Restless. When you become restless, the child of God, who has the spirit of God, you suddenly become restless. Maybe you have traveled on a journey and you left your family behind and suddenly you become restless. Don't talk about it. Your family may be in Christ. There may be a major issue to be solved. I was preaching in Togo some years back and all of a sudden as I was getting ready to go for the crusade, I became restless. With this restlessness. He said, participate. The Holy Spirit said, No, pray. So I began to pray in tongues, I began to pray in the Holy Spirit. And when I got an opportunity to speak with my wife, I spoke. And she said, Oh, my daughter is suffering from this terrible stomach. And then the Holy Spirit said, Tell her to put your Bible that you forgot all her stories. And it will be alright. I told her that. And he said, As soon as the Bible. Because I'm not going to be in the room. He said, As soon as the Bible touched her stomach, she was instantly healed. But that was after intercession. When you become restless for no reason, it may be a prayer for them that God is giving you. Number two, when you have a strange dream that compels you to be wide awake, the Holy Spirit wants you to pray. When you have a strange dream that compels you to be wide awake. The Holy Spirit is asking you to pray. Three, when you suddenly become awake from a sleep, you go without a dream. The Holy Spirit is asking you to pray. Four, when you find yourself crying or shedding tears for no apparent reason, somebody has died, nothing bad has happened, but you find yourself shedding tears. The Holy Spirit is calling you to pray so that you will not cry. Four, number five. When you suddenly begin to feel hands of labor, even though you are not pray. You know what the God found of, of labor? If you don't know it, you may not use that to speak to you. This crap that comes in your stomach, that comes and leaves you, comes and leaves you. If you have that coming up, coming up, you will be asking you to pray. Number six, you just know, when you just know that something is wrong without knowing what, you just know something is wrong. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Your spirit is, the Holy Spirit is asking you to pray. And number seven, when you just know that the Lord wants you to pray, because you have the Spirit of God, sometimes we don't know that God wants you to pray. And I need to pray. And I need to pray more times to pray. When that is coming up, the Holy Spirit is uh, asking you to pray. I note that my list is not exhaustive because they are limited to my own experience 
and the experiences of people who are connected with one way or another. And I've told you before that there's no specific teaching of this directly in the Bible. Because the New Testament came up after the Holy Spirit has come. Because the Holy Spirit is present that began to bring out the New Testament. And so, you don't have enough acts of the operation of the Spirit written in the Bible. 